My speaking is not a task of the word of God. It has nothing to do with me, any work that has been over our lives. Um, we can have testimony to us about stuff that God has done to us, but any testimony saying that what God has done to the Bible, there's nothing more than the sun. There's literally nothing more than the sun. Everything that, everything that we experience in our day-to-day life is literally what has already happened in the Bible. The Bible is the uncorruptible word of God. Um, I want to thank God for Jesus' life. Yes, because Jesus Christ came back and unlocked the scriptures for us to understand what God was really trying to give to the children of Israel. He wanted to give us mercy, love, compassion, but with our evil deeds, the things that, not just us, but generations before us, corrupted the, 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 the word of God that, that we keep, that it, 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 left, it left the curses to be born upon the, the new generation. Um, things that we experience in our daily life is not because of us, it's because of things that generations, many years before us, came and stole into our flesh. They stole, they stole death, they stole, they stole immorality, they stole homosexuality. Things, they think that the, the flesh, the flesh craves, but God still gives you a view. There, there are many things that our flesh desires that it goes against the love of Jesus, not the love of Solomon, not the love of, of Asylum, but the love of Jesus Christ. I thank God again for Jesus' life. Yes, Jesus is the Son of God. He literally died for all of our sins. He, he didn't have to die for us. On the cross, he literally was crying out to God to come and save him. Yes. Jesus, even, even when he was praying in the garden, he literally told God, if this cup doesn't fit me, let this cup pass over. A person that did not want to die for us, but God allowed him to die for all of our sins. Like, imagine you have to literally die for your wife, die for your child, die for your, die for your, for your, for your, for your, for your, for your, Die for a nation. Jesus Christ died for all humanity. Every single human being that is living and has death is because of Jesus Christ. The Bible says that a rich man or a poor man, the breath, air, air is really the birth of them. It doesn't matter who you think you are. You can go up, come down. So literally, when you go, everything you have with you stays here. There's no such thing if I'm taking, I'm taking my, 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 my nice car to heaven. I'm taking my nice, my nice car to, to heaven. Ah, thank you, Jesus. I'll be taking the scriptures from Ecclesiastes 4, and I'll see. It says, Don't let the excitement run long, and I'll see. Don't let the excitement that you've called you to the greatest creator. Honor him in your youth before you grow old and say life is not pleasant anymore. Verse 2. Remember him before the light of the sun, moon, and stars dig in your own eyes, and rain clouds continually back in the sky. Verse 3. So let me be put before your legs, the guard in your house start to tremble, and before your shoulders, the strong man stoop. So let me be put with teeth, the few remaining children start, stop grinding, and before your eyes, the woman looking through the window, she's busy. Verse 4. So let me be put the door to life opportunity is closed, and the sun of work fades. Now you rise with the first chapter of the birds, but then all sounds will grow faint, but five. But never hit before you become full, you become fearful of falling and worry about dangers in the street. Before your hair turns white like an almond tree in the bloom and you drive along and you drive along with that energy like a dying grasshopper. And the pink berry no longer as fire as you desire. I'll see that again. I'll take your five again. Verse five. But never hit before you before Remember him before you become careful of falling. Worrying about dating in the street death. Before your hair turns white like an army tree in the blue, and you drive along without energy like a dying black hopper, and the kid of no longer aspiring such a desire. Remember him before you near the grave, your lasting home, when the morning will weep. When the morning will weep at your funeral. Verse 6. Yes, remember your greatest now while you are young, before the civil court of life is passed and the golden bowl is broken. Don't wait until the water dry is smashed and the spring and the pool is broken at the well. Verse 7. So then the devil will return to the earth and the spirit will return to God who gave it. Verse 8. Everything is meaningless, that's the teacher, completely meaningless. Verse 9. He did their mind, the teacher was considered wise. He taught the people everything he knew. He listened carefully to many powers, studying and classifying them. Verse 10. The teacher taught to find just the right words to express truth clearly. Verse 11. The words of the life are like hidden parts, painful but helpful. The collective things are like nail-studded sticks with which the shepherd drives the sheep. Verse 12. 
But my child, let me give you further advice. Be careful. The writing book is ended and must have worried you out. Verse 13, the whole story. Here now is my final conclusion. Here God has obeyed his command. For this is everyone's duty. Verse 14, God will judge us for everything we do, including every secret thing, whether good or bad. Um, this, this, this Ecclesiastes story is very powerful because it excites us to remember God in our youth. Um, the Bible says we are, we, are, we are forever in our youth, so it doesn't matter if you're 50, 60, 70 years old, you're still a youthful person. Um, the scriptures in, in Old Testament also speak of a day in God's presence being like a thousand, a, a day to God like a thousand years in the human. So, for God to tell us that we're still children who are 50, 50, because he sees different from human, from human understanding. He also says that we should remember him before, so I would say we do special desires. Um, uh, 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 when you're when you're when you're you know, you, you open, this is this is a thing that the flesh creates called special we have a special appetite for another for 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 the significant other. It could be a significant other. It could be for 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 a person that your eyes glance at. But the Bible says that we must flee from these things. The word of God says, flee from fornication and all such evil. Um, Second Timothy, uh, uh, many people shall become lovers of themselves. Uh, Rebel mind. People that they have a they have they have a they have a, a form of godliness but not they don't understand the power they are. So such flee away. Uh, when people believe that they understand who the word of God truly is, those kind of people are very dangerous because they have a they have a they have a, a they have a belief system always set up. You can't teach them. Somebody who can't easily be taught is a very dangerous person. You don't want to be around people that cannot that cannot take teaching. If a, if a person cannot be, cannot be, cannot be a student of the word, a person cannot deliver the word of God. If you cannot sit under, uh, under, 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 under a passage to be able to be taught the word, to be able to not just, you know what, you know, it's not that you're going to church to go and listen to a preacher preaching and you want to become a pastor. No, you get taught the word of the word to be able to be brought to your members on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, on an hourly basis. Yes. Um, the word of God is one of the things that we need for our honor. Um, we, 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 we put the honor of God to the, to the, to the, to the word of God. Yes. The shield of salvation, the helmet of salvation, the shield of faith. All these things, all these things that, 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 God, that God has in the scripture is applied to the word of God. Without the word of God, we are, we are, we are likely to become evil men. Every single person on earth without the Holy Spirit is likely to become an evil man. And I, I'm pretty sure that some people have seen the movie The Purge. It's, it's, it's literally, we lost the purpose of God in this world. The, 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 we're likely to enter into that type of atmosphere called the purge. People will start to kill each other for certain things. Things that our eyes pray. People will be, people, the fact that it will be so much fun, it will be a very, very big world. It will be a bad world without like the Holy Spirit. People consider themselves good. They're not good you know, if you don't know the Holy Spirit. You might think that, yes, uh, I, 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 can, I can give the most, I can do the most, but without the Holy Spirit there, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Uh, the Holy Spirit is, is that good that's inside of you. You, you might not just know the name yet. If, if, if you're seeking understanding of who you are here on earth, uh, it's in the Word of God. Uh, I would suggest that people start to agree their value more. Um, people start to understand who God has called them to be here on earth. Uh, the Bible, Jesus Christ unlocked the song that said that you are God, children of the Most High God. So he confirmed it in his word. It was not that Jesus said that, that God, is it not written in your scriptures that we are God, children of the Most High God? We are not God, but we are supposed to have our body nature because he made them in his, he said, let's, let, us, let's, let us make them in our nature. He made us just like him. Without, without Jesus Christ, <laughs> we wouldn't have the good of Jesus to feed over our, our day. We wouldn't have the good of Jesus to feed over our lives, of our children. Um, I have, I have a burden, but Jesus Christ has to offer the burden of, of the Lord. The burden is, let's, let's, let's be temptation, let's be love and evil things so that our kids will become better than we were. Yeah. Uh, we're not doing this for self anymore. Uh, it, might, it might seem like it's too far gone for you, but for your children it can be a complete different story. Your children have a new life to you. If you do good, be good, take them to church, and, 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 and such, and, and such and such. <laughs> Ah, thank you, Jesus, for what you're doing in this nation. Uh, thank you, Jesus, for, uh, for us and Uh We are privileged to not be getting bound and tapped and stuff like that. Uh, we don't take that for granted. We, 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 we literally, uh, we exalt your name. We, we, we do what you have. For us to not be in, in, in poverty, for us to have food in excess, 
for us to have stores like the Dollar Tree, we can walk in and buy stuff for literally one dollar. Um, people, people that are other nations don't even have such opportunities. They literally have to go and 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 sell themselves.
para que tengamos un asalto, vida interna con él, porque si no, no andaba en ese mundo sin él, porque nosotros tenemos pecados, en un mundo pecado y somos pecados. Hace que está correcto con Cristo, la que es el Señor, la contamina de los objetos, porque Él se levanta los pecados de los beneficios. Amén. Amén. Yo amo a esta misión. Amén. Ya está de mi Señor. Me dice, ¿cómo es el estado? ¿Cómo es el estado de mí? ¿El estado de mí? ¿El estado de mí? ¿El estado de mí? Me, 